Hello fellow scouters. I am going to do this video about the app called Scout. 40,000 people a month get their devices blocked by Scout. So we're talking a lot of people uh, getting their unique identifiers uh, in their device depending on which OS they have uh, blocked per month according to their blog. Uh, so in the old days, or up until recently, when you had iOS 5, I'm not sure about iOS 6, uh, when you could just jailbreak your phone, go into Cydia, download an app called UDID Faker, you would be able to change your UDID and you would be able to create a new account and your device would not be blocked anymore. So I was recently blocked for something I don't even know what it was. Uh, this is typical, reading posts on the internet. People are getting blocked for the most silliest things, including sexual innuendo and other ridiculous mommy and daddy type rules. So I am, uh, so what we have here in iOS 7 is uh, the UDID system is not being used. It's, a, it's changed, and now it's an advertising ID number, ID. So, uh, what I, I'm on, I'm hot on the trail of finding the hack to changing the advertising number and uh, any other unique identifiers which link your phone to an account. And this can apply to game games and other things as well uh, that people get blocked on. Anyway, so. What I'd like to point out here is this blog, Apple iOS 7 puts an end to unique device IDs. So what is it being replaced with? So I went into this, and uh, this is one big clue. Uh, vendor IDs. So it says uh, an ID that is identical between apps from the same developer. So that could be other apps that Scout has. Uh, erased with removal of the last app. So you have to, one step is to, or a part of the steps is to delete all of the apps from the same developer. So next thing uh, is the main point, the advertising IDs. Uh, the advertising ID is unique to the device. It is available to all applications used for advertising. So IAD has converted from UDID for iOS 6 and later. Converted from. So, I don't know if UDID Faker works on iOS 6. I haven't tried it. Uh, leave any comment in, in the comment section below if you have succeeded with that for iOS 6, changing your UDID and getting a new account on Scout. Now, uh, so here's the key. How do you reset the, the advertising ID? Uh, that is to go into settings and erase all content in settings. All your data will be lost. Uh, your apps, um, I don't know. Uh, I haven't done this yet. I'm considering doing it. Uh, it should, there's no big risk doing it because if you just back up your data on iTunes and whatnot, you, know, you should be able to have everything to restore if you do lose stuff. So my theory is, is that if you delete the app, erase all contents and settings, reboot the phone, install Scout again, you should be able to create a new account. So this, ad, this uh, article goes on to explain how you can reset the ad advertising identifier. However, I've tried that and that doesn't seem to work. It's not enough. Scout is linking your phone through other means. Now, I found another interesting article here on TechCrunch. Apple's latest crackdown, uh, apps pulling the advertising identifier. But what I what I want to point out here is, is that I suspect that Scout is actually in violation of this part of the agreement, section 3312. It says, you and your applications and any third party with whom you have contacted to serve advertising may use the advertising identifier and any information obtained through the use of the advertising identifier only for the purpose of serving advertising. 
if a user result resets the advertising identifier, then you agree not to combine, correlate, link, or otherwise associate, either directly or indirectly, the prior advertising identifier and any derived information with the reset advertising ID. So, very good question to put out there. Are they violating this? So, I would really like you guys to uh, maybe try this out on a block device um, and just go in, delete the app, reset all contents and settings, put the app back on, see if you can get a new account, then go ahead and do a restore of your data from your iTunes backup and see if there's any link brought back in from the restore. That is what I'm trying to find out right now. So uh, that's a good question. If you have any answers to that, uh, put it in the comments below. Uh, we're getting hot on the trail, and I would like to find out. And I'm sure about 40,000 other people per month are looking to the Internet to find an answer to how they get around this. And uh, the can of worms is opening up after the, you know, the UDID app is not working anymore with this on uh, iOS 7 and uh, possibly iOS 6, I don't know. But if you're on iOS 5 and below, you're good to go. Just download the app in City of UDID Faker and you should be fine. I will be posting some subsequent videos uh, regarding this as I dig deeper. So thanks for watching and um, let's keep the thread going and please, uh, if you have any experiences or any information that's helpful, post it in the comments. Appreciate it.